people build companies while finding solutions to problems that may come your way. Have a question? Stop by robtheaccountant.com, scroll down to the middle of the page, hit that email up, and send me your question away. Happy Monday, America. Happy Monday, America. I'm sorry for the slow start. A uh, lot of stuff going on today. Uh, have my coffee, and uh, we're just here to talk today. I want to talk to you about who is Rob? Well, you know, here's the thing I want to start with first, okay? And everyone can get mad, they can flame on, you can say what you want. But if you are black or brown and you're not voting for Trump, you're not black or brown or minority. Did you hear what I said? If you're not voting for Trump, if you're black or brown, then you're not black or brown, right? Joe Biden said the other way. He said, if you don't vote for Joe Biden, you're not black. But here's the problem I have with all this. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of all of it. So who is Rob? Rob's an orphan. My mother was 14 years old when she had me. I come from the projects of Brooklyn. And then she drove me up here to Rochester, New York and dumped me because somebody else knocked her up at 16. Nobody went to help my mother. Nobody went to find the people who were responsible for that, right? But every day in this country, when it comes to a, a black person walking in the park watching birds, a dispute among relationships, uh, loudness in a divorce argument. If the race is white versus black, at the end of the day, nearly in every single case, white folks in certain groups utilize law enforcement to achieve goals that they may or may not win legally. See, I got a lot of friends and hey, we all go through stuff up and down, right? You go through life doing what you feel is right or wrong, whatever your position is. But we can't say that the former president, Donald Trump, is guilty of 34 felonies, right, without dealing with all the other people in this country who are locked up, who are imbued, who are restricted, who are on probation for no reason other than there was a dispute between two people and one side gets to unfairly use the police to execute on their position. So, you know, when Obama went into office, there was a disparity relative to the sale of cocaine. See, in America, for a long time, cocaine is used by everybody. It's used by white, black, it does, there isn't a race that isn't affected by cocaine. One group of people tends to want to snort or inject cocaine, and that results in a certain propensities for whatever the outbursts are for that. Not as violent, not as damaging, you know, all drug use is damaging, but then we have the other side of it where we have cocaine that's formed into crack, a very harmful drug that uh, for the majority of this country hits one group of people, black people in inner cities, and some folks use it as a way up, some folks use it actually and go down. Um, but for the longest time in this country, our government made a distinction. So if you are a brown or black person and you got caught with a small bag of crack, your sentencing 
was 15 to 25 years. Regardless of whether you're doing that to buy some food, whatever the situation is, these were the rules. Some people might hark this back to, in New York, the Rockefeller drug laws. But we should just call them the Rockefeller black laws because they only affected one group of people. And so when you're Joe Biden and you can go around and meet people like me, single fathers, you know, and you can bring chicken instead of the, uh, you know, the whole dining esque week of the White House, you know, when you can go out and say every event you were there, you're not going to do nothing, right? Now, I don't know if Trump's going to do anything, but everybody in this country sees this isn't, this isn't what freedom is. Freedom isn't going around and using the law as a crutch to beat other people down. Intelligent and an educated and a civilized society argues and takes their disputes into the court of law. Sometimes we sometimes forget that on the street, the cops win, but in court, we are re-empowered with the enshrining of our rights, right? So I don't really mean that if you don't vote for Trump, that you're not black or brown. Personally, I just feel that if you need to vote for Joe Biden, you might just want to sit out this one because there's just something inherently wrong. It's wrong not only for people like me, but it's wrong for everybody else. It's wrong for the victims who are truly impacted by real crime. It's wrong for the businesses when they're impacted and they don't have the money and the insurance policies don't pay out. We shouldn't, as a country, focus on every single tit for tat and everything we don't like about what somebody else says about us as a bar to send people with guns to people's houses. I just think, you know, this is just ridiculous. And I have a number of friends that this is happening to. And it's just not here. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's also why, if we want to go on with it, it's also why, for a long time, and all over the country, uh, MAD, Mothers Against Driving Drunk, had a mission. Well, people still drive drunk, but now, there seems like there's more drunk driving because there's more leniency. Here in New York, you can pick up a cocktail at a, at a restaurant, you can drive home with it under the theory you're not gonna drink it until you get home. But the reality is, is that the slightest bit of alcohol on your breath gets you an interlock device, which is this device that goes on your car. You have to blow into it to make your car go. It goes off like every five or 10 minutes. And so what we're saying is, Yes, you can uh, drink and drive, it's terrible and stuff, but if you have enough money, we'll give you the technology so you can get it right back on the road. Well, that's not accountability. That's adaptation for one group of people. Well, <laughs> if you've got that adaptation for one group of people, why do we even have jails in this country anymore? Right, it seems like that's an awful place to have people, right? If somebody can afford their own home and can stay in their own apartment, and feed themselves and the states don't have to populate that person and you could put up an electronic surveillance on that person, why, why house them where they're, they're gonna come out to be a worse person? You know, fundamentally, when you guys look at our debt and how much money we spend and how much you work every day, how much everything is, it's just one more thing that you have to ask why. I believe true freedom in America is everyone respecting everyone's bounds. Yes, there's going to be times where some people just don't do that. But it doesn't make them bad people. They shouldn't face some consequence unless their actions weren't such a consequence. So again, as everyone runs around and they get all happy about polling for Trump, going down a little bit, we just should remind everybody that if this was a woman, 
being extorted by three other people. And Trump was a woman. He wouldn't be in court. And we don't talk about that. The disparity of laws through this country between men and women. And I'll save that for another time because I want to get some more research on that. And I want to give you some real facts and figures from all 50 states when it comes to child support, child custody, division of assets. There's just impartiality in the law everywhere. And as a group of civilized people together, we should all work to make it better for everyone. Right? That's what we should do. So I'm Rob the Accountant. I hope you have a happy Monday. Hope you have a great week. And, you know, once again, if you have any new things you want to bring forward, any businesses, you need an accountant, you're in New York, you need workers' comp, you need paid family leave, you need any of those things, stop by KabbalahTax.com. And I'll be glad to help you, and I'm sure we'll get some other people that are happy to help you. Also, if you need health insurance in New York State, um, and you fell off on the uh, COVID plans, the essential plans are getting ready to relaunch in July. And there apparently is going to be some nice plans there for folks that are affordable and, you know, provide some real health care coverage to people. So check it out um, if you go to New York State of Health, if you live in New York. And uh, if you don't have health insurance and you're single, uh, check out the essential plans. So I hope everyone has a great week and a happy Monday. And I'll talk to you guys all soon.